Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Homer. This is the on the snow, snow before you go forecast. And really the big theme, I think, is just a complete reversal of fortune. I mean, from the very snowy pattern last week, now what we're dealing with is mainly going to be high pressure across the west. But I'll point out some places that I think will still benefit. But what a meager spider web chart here this week. Last couple of weeks, this thing was just chock full. Now it's like you're really going to have to pinpoint um, and figure out exactly where the snow is going to be. There's not going to be a whole lot of it. Killington, the northeast. I would focus on the northeast for this upcoming weekend. It's possible there's going to be a weekend storm system. Otherwise, I would stick to the Pacific Northwest, British Columbia, and Banff areas. You can see how those areas are highlighted on the chart. Um, to some degree down into parts of Idaho, Montana, if we can get the, um, there's a couple of fast moving storms that may brush those areas and maybe even northern Colorado. We'll see. None of that seems to be, um, there's really just not a whole lot of confidence in that. Other, the big confidence is up in the Pacific Northwest. And in fact, that's where we're going to start. Let's go first up to uh, the Banff area, Revelstoke. So, you know, if I were choosing places to ski this week or mid to late week, wherever, I would go for the Pacific Northwest. I would go to interior BC and parts of the Banff area, western Alberta. Revelstoke picking up a few inches overnight. Pretty cool view there. You can see the clouds socking in a lot of the valleys. You've got snow coming. And I think it's going to be good snow this week. You're going to see blow off. What What is going to happen this week is we're going to see this. And then we'll go back to another camera. We're going to see a, a weak to moderate atmospheric river set up for the Pacific Northwest, which means a lot of moisture. It's going to be rather warm at times. So the snow levels are going to have to be, they're going to be pushed high in the Pacific Northwest. So you're going to have to go to the highest volcanoes and high, highest cascades for this. But some of this will blow off and hit places like Revelstoke and Marmot Basin, Interior BC, Western Alberta. All right, so let's go back to Whistler. That's your view in Whistler. Not a lot happening right now, but there will be. There's a lot of action coming your way. Let me explain. So this is a really interesting pattern on this. There's actually a splitting jet, and it's pretty dramatic, shooting up into BC and then running down like this. That's, that's the northern branch, and then it's splitting and part of it's going south like this. And what is occurring in between is a giant area of high pressure right here. And this is what's going to dominate California, Utah, Colorado, Wyoming, New Mexico. That's what's going to create this log jam. And it's going to push storms north and it's going to push storms to the south. So. Um, just to show this, uh, there are numerous storm systems lined up here on this northern branch. You can see them spinning, but they're all going to follow this northern branch up. That's why the Pacific Northwest, that in a nutshell, is why the Pacific Northwest is the place to be with this. All right, let me show you one interpretation of this. This is the GFS American model. Um, and so let me push this into the future. This is today or Sunday. Look at that high pressure across the west. That is big time. Monday, big high pressure still there. Look at the Pacific Northwest. There's some action. Um, and that's where it stays. Here's Tuesday morning. Um, hitting interior BC there. Wednesday morning right there. A little bit in northern Idaho, extreme northern Idaho, northwest Montana. Here's Thursday morning. I mean, guys, it is just days on end of high pressure here across the west. Um, let's look at Friday. There's a little bit of moisture right there on the 14th, uh, spinning through the desert southwest four corners, but that is really minor, and that may not happen. This is this is the thing that might happen. There's a front that drops south right there. You see how it drops south through Wyoming into northern Colorado? That could help focus some of that snow. So I have a little bit of snow in my northern, central and northern Colorado forecast. I'll show you that. But then that all moves away. Um, here's Sunday the 16th. Um, so there's not a ton right there. But notice up also in the northeast, uh, up in New England, see that storm right there? Look at that big low. The big question is whether that hits the ski areas over this weekend. And if it does, it'll be a great weekend for the northeast. All right. So my snow forecast is this. Um, basically all of today through the 16th. Minor amounts of snow, central to northern mountains of Colorado, that 13, 14, 15, 16 time frame, somewhere in there. It's possible. Not set in stone. Low confidence. Highest confidence is up here in the Pacific Northwest. Again, high snow levels, so you're going to have to go pretty high. Baker, Stevens Pass, Rainier, Whistler, Blackcomb, and then some of that blows into the interior, Revelstoke, Marmot Basin, get the most. And some may brush whites there in Whitefish, Discovery, Big Sky, and Bridger Bowl. 
um, if I were looking at the northeast, and I, I showed you that big storm that's possible, the closer it hugs the ski areas, the more snow they get. Right now, I'm going to go probably optimistic, but thinking that uh, some snow is going to be possible with that storm at the ski areas. So basically, all of today through the 16th, you can see my numbers here. There is snow possible for New England. Let's see what that storm does. It's still a, it's a weekend away. Um, but we'll definitely keep an eye on that. So there you go. This is like the reversal of fortune mountain forecast for the West. Um, wish I had more, but it's high pressure for a while with some minor little impulses. If you're looking for good snow, you got to go to the Pacific Northwest or BC. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here for this on the snow, snow before you go forecast. Take care.